originally uh, it was invented as a piece of social technology, very, a very great invention. It served, I think, if not a spiritual, at least a very deeply human function from the earliest times. But over time, money took over, not as a means, but as a measure of wealth. We are currently living in a society in which money has become the objective for everything that we can think of. We get so infatuated, it becomes almost a, an object of spiritual veneration. Sure, we've got all kinds of material stuff, but are we any happier for it? We think more is better and it's going to make life better, but that's just a formula for dissatisfaction. The whole world has been locked in debt. Every government's in debt, people everywhere are in debt. That's why we have all this pressure on growth, growth, growth. In the aggregate as a species, we are consuming faster than the environment can regenerate. Every year we're using a quarter more of, of the planet's resources than we have. And there are no other planets. The system is systemically unstable. This is certainly the most exciting time to be alive in all human history. And not the least of the excitement is due to huge crises. It's as if we as a species have realized we have a terminal disease. And we need to come together in community and get ourselves through the crisis, and it will change the very fabric, the very nature of our relationship with life itself. The economic crash is not a disaster in the sense that we've lost something, but a real opening. We can use this process to create a whole new system of exchange that will enable us to live a better life with more harmonious relationships. To me, that's part of a new story of money and more broadly, a new story of the people. People can now bring in the resources that their soul has been carrying, the aspirations that they've been carrying, the creativity that they've been carrying. We have a big redesign job, a design revolution from top to bottom, and that ought to be fun because everybody can be involved. The struggles that destroy this world will continue if we don't find the appropriate ways of relating to money.